Welcome everybody to the first of a series of video blogs I'm going to be doing showing you how to use Adaptalux to create some awesome photographs. In this episode I'm going to be using this feather as a subject and I'm going to build the lighting environment up step by step and show you how these steps change the photograph. The Adaptalux equipment we'll be using today are lighting arms, got some diffusers, I may or may not use them yet, and then also the control pod which I've mounted to the Adaptalux stabiliser prototype. Right, so the equipment I'm going to use today is my trusty Nikon D4EX, and then the lens I'm using is a Tamron SP 90mm macro lens, and really when you're shooting freehand macro photography, you want to use a shutter speed of at least a hundredth of a second, so I'm going to use two hundredth of a second, and that will minimise um, camera shake. Aperture I'm going to set to f8, so we've got a pretty decent depth of field. And then the ISO I've set to 400. So first of all, I'm going to take a photo with the current camera settings. Uh, and this room's pretty light, but we'll just see how it comes out. Yeah, it, it's really dark, and that's because in macro photography you need a really, really good light source on it because you're focusing on a small area. So the first thing I want to do is I want to light the area I'm going to be photographing, so grab a white lighting arm, plug that in. Probably going to position it about there. So I'll take a quick picture of that. Straight away, you can see the area I want to photograph is pretty well illuminated. So. The next thing I want to do, in the photo I notice it's quite dark as the feather trails off to the right hand side, so I'm going to have another white light and I'm coming from this direction. So all you do is grab this, plug it in, and bend it until you're happy with it. And because these lights are on all the time, I can see without taking a photograph what the light is doing to the subject. So I'll take another photograph of that. Okay, straight away we can see now the whole of the feather is showing in the photograph, which is exactly what we want. Um, I'd say the brightness could be increased on these lighting arms, just so the image becomes a bit sharper. So you, you literally just press the cycle button. This one's flashing, so that's the one which is going to be adjusted. You hold the negative or positive down, so the positive button. I think I'm going to have it around there, and then I can press that again. Put that on full power. And you just let it flash for five seconds, and then both of them new brightness settings will be saved. There you go. So I'll take another picture. Okay, great. So I'm pretty happy with that photograph now. Um, great thing about Adaptalux, if there's any areas, so if I wanted to make the spine of this feather pop out a bit, I could move this down here so it's highlighting it. Um, but I don't want to do that, I'm going to leave it as it is. One thing what I do really want to make stand out now is these light feathery bits here. And I can do that by adding a bit of colour to them. So I'm going to use a red lighting arm. I'm going to position it so the light's just hitting this, this edge here. So I'm just going to grab a red light now, plug it in, bend it over here. The great thing about that flux, these aren't going to fall out. We've designed it so if you had it mounted to a camera and you were, you were shooting downwards, then they're not going to fall out or anything like that. And so I'm going to position this back here, I'm going to aim this up here. And I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but the red's kind of filling almost all the bottom. So I'm going to adjust the beam angle. 
just so it's catching the edge like that. Now I'm going to take a picture of that and we'll see what it looks like. Great, I'm happy with that now. I think that looks pretty good. So hopefully I've shown you just a few lighting arms, a few different lighting directions and that added colour, you can make a photograph really unique and stand out. Um, in the next episode I'm going to start going into diffusers and some of the other Adaptilux parts. But I really hope this has been insightful for you and showing you just how easy Adaptilux is to use and create unique images. Thank you, I'll see you next time.